to follow up on the last clip, Tips from Pros, I thought I would uh, also mention 10 tips from specific international pros, old sages now, people who've been known, particularly on the European tour, uh, and in some cases internationally including the United States on the PGA Tour. So what I'm going to do is just give a very quick one sentence tip from each of these 10 pros. First, Lee Westwood, Englishman. His advice was know your yardages. I couldn't agree more. I have found that by knowing my exact yardages with each club, I'm able to feel very confident on the course when I know the yardage to the point that I want to hit the ball, whether it's to the green, or whether it's onto the fairway, or whether it's from the fairway further down the fairway. Knowing your yardages really allows you to stay confident, calm, and collected. There's some very good tools to help you measure your yardages even on the range. And I'll cover some of those in another clip as an example of what I use and how I do it. So stay tuned. Second, the well-known Italian Francesco Molinari. His advice was, aim to the middle of the green every time. So don't try and take on pins that are close to hazards, pins that are on a very difficult slope. Basically, particularly as an amateur, aim to the middle of the green. Third, Colin Montgomery, that great Scotsman. His advice was, take your punishment. So when you make either a bogey or a double bogey or you hit it into the rough, don't let it fester you, don't let it stay in your mind for further shots. Take your punishment, it happens to all golfers at all levels, and just move on. Focus on your normal rhythm and swing and in all likelihood, you'll make it up on one or another shot or hole. That well-known Swede, Peter Hansen, his advice was always aim to the safe side, whether that's when you're driving, whether that's on the fairway, whether that's to the green, whether that's whether you see a bunker or a hazard. Aim always to the safe side. Don't aim to the sides where you would need an absolutely precise shot, otherwise you would go into the rough, or you'd go into out of bounds, or you'd go into the water, as the case may be. Dutchman, Hoos Luton. His advice was, play the percentages on par fours. So don't try and take on a very long shot if the chance of success is small. Play your percentages. If you feel that it would be safer to go 150 yards rather than 180, do so and then take your, whether it's your lob wedge for the next shot. Or on the fairway, if it's a par five, even two hybrids, if it gives you a safer shot on both cases, so play your percentages. In relation to that, Bernd Weisberger, the well-known Austrian, actually gave very good advice for amateurs. Use your handicap. Seems strange to say that, but you have a handicap for a reason, so use it. So the point being that, let's say your handicap is 18, just for the sake of argument, you have an extra shot per hole. Use it. So don't try to always get it in four if, in fact, five is par for you. 
you will find less stress, less tension, and you might find that a few of them you actually get under that handicap as a result. It also allows for the fact that you might get a double in, in some cases. So just work to your handicap and, and eventually you'll bring that down. Your handicap means you're playing even. So if your handicap was 18 and you hit 18 over, you're even. So in a competition against somebody who might be plus four, but actually ends up plus six, you've won the round. So use your handicap. The American Chris Kirk said, increase your margin for error. So point being that a little bit like playing safe, don't tighten your shots in such a way that your margin for error is very high. Play to where your margin for error is large. You see some themes here about playing to the center of the green, about um, playing the safe shot, about using your handicap, all about decreasing your risk and increasing your margin for error. Marcel Sim, the German, his advice was check the pin positions because in all likelihood, if you can't, if it isn't a course particularly you're playing a lot and you happen to know where the pins always are or you don't get uh, pin position from your course, check your pin position, whether that's with a rangefinder or just by looking and as it accordingly adjust to where you want to hit the ball accordingly adjust to where the center of the green is perhaps, as per earlier advice. So check the pin positions. Andrea Pavan, Italian, he suggested using a driving iron of the tee. So not always a driver. I've mentioned this before in earlier clips. These days it might be that you're using a hybrid or you're using a five wood, particularly for seniors. Don't always think use a driver. If you can use a four or five iron that gets you safe onto the good part of the fairway or a hybrid or a five wood. Think about that as your first key shot. Try it and see there might be certain holes where that makes eminent sense and you hadn't really thought about it before. The New Zealander, Ryan Fox. He, his advice, slightly different to some of the others, is hit to the best point of layup. So let's say, like in my case, uh, I love my gap wedge, which I know I can consistently hit 100 yards. So if I'm in the middle of the fairway, it's too long to get to the green, it might be the pi five. I want to get to a point and where the final ball finishes around 100 yards before the green. So it could be that I'm not taking the longest club or a hybrid even to go from where I am currently to that 100 yards. It might be that I'm taking an eight iron to get there so that I know I can use that point with my best club with a club that I know I can hit well and get onto the green for the exact yardage. So choose your layup point to suit your best shots and clubs. I hope this tour de table of 10 international golfers and single pieces of advice that they've given gives you some food for thought. It certainly gave me some food for thought and helped me improve my game, lower my handicap, have better course management. Do subscribe, put the notifications on, lots more exciting stuff to come. Give me a like. See you on the flip side.